Act 1, Scene 1. A messenger enters. Messenger. I have news from Rome, my good lord. Anthony. Which irritates me. Give me a summary. Cleopatra. No. Listen to it, Anthony. Perhaps Fulvia is angry with you. Who knows? Maybe the baby-faced Caesar has orders for you. Do this, do that, conquer that kingdom, liberate this one. Duarte will condemn you. References. Fulvia is Mark Anthony's wife. Octavia Caesar was only in his twenties at this time, about twenty years younger than Anthony. Anthony, what, my love? Cleopatra. Maybe, no, most likely. You can't stay here any longer. Caesar has sent your dismissal. So pay attention, Anthony. Where is Fulvia's summons? Excuse me, I should have said Caesar's. Or do Fulvia and Caesar both beckon you back to Rome? Call in the messengers, and we'll find out. As surely as I am the queen of Egypt, Anthony, you're blushing, which means you're Caesar's servant. Or that, B-word, Fulvia still has the power to humiliate he you. Call the messengers. Anthony, let Rome be washed away in the Tiber and let the great empires fall. My place is here. Kingdoms are only dirt. The soil seeds, the soil feeds animals as well as people. So how does having a kingdom separate humans from beasts? The noblest thing is to do what we are doing, particularly when the couple is as well matched as we are. I demand that the world admit we are the perfect couple, or else suffer the consequences. Reference: Rome was built on the river Tiber. Cleopatra, to herself, what an enormous lie. Why did he marry Fulvia if he didn't love her? I'll pretend to be a fool and believe him. He'll never change. Anthony, overhearing the last sentence, Unless he is moved and inspired by Cleopatra. Now, since we love the feelings of being in love, let's not spoil the mood with serious discussion. We shouldn't spend a minute without some kind of amusement. What shall we do tonight? Cleopatra, meet with the ambassadors. Anthony, shame on you, stubborn queen. Everything you do is attractive. Scolding, laughing, crying. Every emotion seems admirable when you express it. I won't see any messengers but yours. Tonight we'll wander through the streets and observe the people. Come, my queen. That's what you wanted to do last night. To the messenger. Don't talk to us. Anthony and Cleopatra exit with their attendants. Demetrius. Does Anthony have so little respect for Caesar? Philo. Sir, sometimes he's like a different person, a person who can't measure up to the former Anthony. Demetrius. I'm sad to say this confirms the stories being told about him in Rome, which I have taken to be lies. Well, I'll hope things change for the better soon. Have a good night. They exit.